and I don't give a f- I'm here with Luke the Chef Lisi, uh, Mr. One Championship Fighter. Just won his fight against Eddie Abasolo. There yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, let me just take off. Like, my last fight against Eddie Abasolo. Um, trying to become the number one American on paper, not only in, you know, the fans and the people's hearts, but I'm trying to be that guy. I'm trying to be that superstar. So <laughs> it comes from seminars like this where people like yourself come out and they learn. And not only are they just learning the techniques of Muay Thai, they're learning who Luke the Chef is, mm -hmm. why he does what he does, and how he is evolving the game because that's what the chosen ones are for. People like Conor McGregor that evolve the game. People like Rod Tang, people like Jonathan Haggerty, and then obviously people like myself that are evolving the Muay Thai game. And I just want to shout out everybody who follows me, everybody like you who comes to my seminars. Uh, the support and the growth is making a change because I think we're putting on for the average man, the yeah. working man. Mm -hmm. I think the random Midwest Muay Thai exactly. practitioner, the one who has a nine to five, sees a little bit of light, a little bit of inspiration from me. And that really is the goal. Just if you are a person and what you love, what you're good at inspires somebody else, like, mm -hmm. What else is there in life Especially besides, the <laughs> right, yeah. in the Midwest? There's yeah. nothing else to do here. Mm -hmm. So we're making a change in Midwest Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. Inspire others. Of course, I'm trying to inspire my kids, be there for my family. But the whole goal of this journey, this chef journey, is to evolve the Muay Thai game in go. America, in Midwest America. And we're putting on for the working man. People like you coming to the seminars, learning, trying to spread the knowledge, trying to spread the style. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, dealing with burnout is it's hard to it's hard to figure out if you're burnt out, if you're being lazy, if you're mm -hmm. being weak, mm -hmm. if you don't have what it takes to be great, because you know all the greatest fighters, all the people that we idolize. They're working out all the time. Mm -hmm. their, their regimens are crazy. It's like, do you have time for a family life? Do you have time for this and that? Or is it all just focusing on your goals? And here's what I've learned. The best warrior is a loved warrior. People who have love in their life. Something mm -hmm. to work for. Mm -hmm. Other people who have to eat. Doesn't matter how hard it gets. Doesn't matter all the bullshit that you go through but if you do have a why and something to work towards and for me like we keep coming back to this working man the average man the midwest guy i have two kids i have a family i'm not rich i live in the midwest i'm trying to pay for my pay my bills and uh, support my family and that's where the strength comes mm -hmm. from that's, that's the, the midwest from. muay thai strength yeah, the motivation yeah. bro uh -huh. We have to find time to chase our goals mm -hmm. because do you know why? We're keeping the country going. Mm -hmm. 
And it comes all the way into the household with that. Mm -hmm. We're keeping our family going. We're keeping our bloodline going. Whether our bloodline has done anything hard or not, if we choose to do Muay Thai in the Midwest, mm. there's a good chance we're the first person in our bloodline to be doing something like this, mm -hmm. to be trying mm -hmm. to spread this knowledge, this culture, all the benefits that it has. And mm -hmm. it just inspires me because Muay Thai is the black sheep of anything around the Midwest. Midwest, Iowa is wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. So yeah. not only can you be the black <laughs> sheep in your family, yeah. you also might do something that stands out from the crowd, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. And it's not just like you have to do something random. You're learning how to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. You're exercising, you're creating fitness, you're creating yeah. pathways in your brain to simply just to be creative. Yeah. It's things like this that show you it is important to do these things if you're from the Midwest, if you're from this area, if you're a uh, glue of your family. You do have to do these hard things. Muay Thai is not easy, but the risk, the reward, all the benefits that come from doing, like now it just sounds like I'm being a preacher, but yeah. doing Muay Thai in the Midwest has a certain superpower to it because there's doing not shit to do yeah. here. Yeah. There's <laughs> nobody else that yeah. does shit around here. Mm -hmm. Hard living in the Midwest, keeping the country going. Yeah. So That's we right. all got to have day jobs. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, you can have a day job and still get shit done and live your dreams like straight up. What is the biggest piece of advice that I've gotten? I haven't gotten any advice that has necessarily catapulted me or helped me in this game. The advice that has helped me the most is the advice that I give myself, which is my favorite fighter is the fighter I was yesterday. The guy I want to be better, in, better than is the fighter I was yesterday. I don't have favorite fighters. Nobody inspires me. I need to figure out ways, I want to figure out ways to inspire myself, to find this creation in myself where it, it gives me that spark, that little tiny spark that I had when I was a kid that makes me feel like, yo, this shit is awesome. Like someone like Jordan Peterson says, the best form of learning is through play. And that's bottom line. Treat this shit like you're just playing a game. Because that's really all it is. Muay Thai, fighting, combat sports, whatever sport you do, whatever job you do, you're filling in the character. You're filling in the role of the game, like whatever the game is. We just got to figure out how to have fun with that. Figure out how to progress in that. No matter what it is. It's just about having fun. Just about pretending you're a video game character. You know, trying your best to enjoy every single moment. Because it's one of the hardest things. It's one of the loneliest things. You don't have a team to rely on. You don't have anybody else to blame but yourself. So how can we balance that out? Just have some fun. Because everybody else is sitting on the couch. And we're out here punching and kicking and doing shit that's a little bit harder, you, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's my philosophy on pretty much everything fighting from, you know, working hard to grinding to balancing it out with the family and the friends to sticking with it when you get to the high <coughs> stage. That's my philosophy, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the chef okay. philosophy, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hell yeah, Thank man. you for being in the vlog. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. Dude, I'll yeah. be going... <laughs> you get that shit in front of me, I just be yeah. going, dude. We dude. gotta, we gotta pose, bro. He knows because he's my photographer guy. That was a nugget. That was a, like. <laughs> okay, cool. If you guys don't already know, that is the chef. Uh, there are no other chefs uh, in the world. Great seminar. I was looking forward to uh, doing that little interview with him because I know you guys. Uh, I know you guys would enjoy that. It's good to see the mentalities of those who, who make it to successful places in their life. It's great to see and hear from, uh, from somebody who has made it so far and what their philosophy is in life. And there are a lot of things that you can take from what he said. 
especially especially with his burnout when you have something to look forward to it gives you everything to live for I say it if it doesn't mean much to you Luke says it it's just nice to have something always to look forward to it gives you something it makes you excited you know it forces you to keep pushing and keep doing your thing and I, I think you know I'm glad that he said it and I agree with him now I'm about to uh, head to school to guess what study again have another test this week but there you go the chef seminar cool hey team looks like it's the end of the line for us today <laughs> if you want to know about the studying uh, this is how it went what up vlog oh you're recording yep yep this <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, it's not every day that I get to interview a one championship fighter. So thank you again to Luke Lisi for, you know, being on the vlog. Awesome. <laughs> if, you're, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. This channel is just about me documenting my journey through martial arts while in school and how I balance that and stuff. But. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.